cataractcoach.com. I will pivot technique using the IA probe. So our guest surgeon offers a simple trick to easily rotate an IOL. Now, have you seen this before? So this is called this technique of pivot rotation. And so the IOL is going to be delivered here. You can see empty capsular bag, nice looking capsular rexus. Eyes probably full of viscoelastic. Here comes the IOL. Looks like a single piece acrylic lens goes in the bag quite nicely. And now we know that we have these type of single piece acrylic lenses. These lenses are meant to be rotated in a clockwise manner. But our surgeon says you can rotate in any manner if you use this pivot technique. And I've done this before. I think you've done it before too. Leave us a comment below if you've ever tried this technique. So here, removing viscoelastic. And you can go under the optic here with the tip of the coaxial eye probe. And then you'll get basically a pivot. So once you're lifting it up here, now you can pivot it and you can rotate the lens in any direction you want, clockwise, counterclockwise. You see it rotates very, very easily. So his, we're calling this the pivot technique here. So this tilting reduces equatorial stretch, allows for bi-directional movement. So you can go clockwise and counterclockwise. Let's see another technique here. Again, so another lens going in, looks like a hydrophobic acrylic lens, perhaps of Indian origin going in there in the capsule bag. And then now, again, lifting up the optic, eye probe going underneath, and using that probe to pivot the eye well in different directions. And so certainly the technique works well. Is this something novel? Have any of you, my viewers here, have you seen this before? You've heard of this before? Now, you got to be careful. Don't flip the lens over. If you have so much infusion and you have a big open bag here, yeah, you can see you can certainly rotate the lens in any direction you want. Now, this can prove useful, especially if you just say you have a toric IOL that you placed in the bag and the toric IOL is misrotated and you want to reposition it, you can go in both directions. Normally, you can only go clockwise. So here you go. In fact, we were talking about this, pivot rotation of a toric lens. So you can see smaller pupil with a pupil expansion ring going in there. Here's the IOL going in the capsule bag, a toric monofocal lens here. And the surgeon's going to be able to use that pivot technique to rotate it to the desired position here. So taking out some viscoelastic from in front of the IOL optic. There we go. And now getting that under the optic. Here we go. And now you can rotate the lens wherever you want. And you can see it looks like it's a reasonably gentle technique here. Not much stress on the capsule rexus. And getting that lens positioned precisely where you want it. Also a nice way of removing viscoelastic from behind the optic. So I, I thank the, our surgeon here. Thank you for sharing this technique here. Looks like a good idea. And I'm glad we can share this with our viewers. Is this something novel for you is my question for the viewers. Have you ever seen this technique before? Have you ever done something similar to it? You know, putting the probe underneath the optic to infuse under it and lift it up and then kind of get it re-rotated. Here's one more case of it. So pivot rotation to dislodge peripheral cortex. Okay, let's see this one. I'm liking these videos. Very nicely done. These are from Faco Point. We remember Dr. Suvira Jane's channel here on YouTube, and she's posted this before, and I'm glad they're sharing it with us. But here we go. So using that to loosen up, look at that, using that optic to scrape against that subincisional cortex and loosen it all up, that worked really well. So I like that technique. Now we've learned about, we've all done that trick of putting an eye well in the bag first and kind of helping it to loosen up the cortex. But boy, this patient had a lot of subincisional cortex, and this technique really did work quite well for loosening it all up. Now, you wouldn't want to leave all that cortex in the capsule bag. That'd cause a tremendous amount of inflammation. So thank you for sharing this video. I appreciate it. I think it's a neat technique here. And for my viewers, please post a comment below. What do you think of this technique? Have you ever seen it before? Have you ever done something similar to this in surgery and not necessarily called it a different technique? We would love to hear your comments. Please post them below. Thanks for watching. And remember to check out our social media and our weekly podcast. You're going to love the podcast. So much great stuff. And of course, catacoach.com.